Hello, this is the PAP Audit video channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the throttle control of centrifugal pumps. Almost all pump users know that the throttle control is the most inefficient method of pump controls. The presence of throttle control is an evidence of inefficient pumping system operation. But it is very often used. Why? When it can be used to save a pump and avoid more serious problems? How much energy is wasted? When we apply the throttle control? We will try to answer these questions in this video. The throttle control is the method of changing of the pump flow by increasing or decreasing the resistance of the pumping system. The resistance of the pumping system is regulated by the valve installed in the discharge pipeline. If we need to reduce the flow, we begin to close the well. The pumping system curve changes its shape and gets steeper and steeper. We increase the coefficient of losses in this formula. The pump operating point moves from the point 1 toward the point 3, from the point with flow Q1 to the point with flow Q3. The key question is, how much power we lose by throttling off a pump? When we start throttling, the system curve with open well transforms to the curve which is the sum of the system curve and the valve curve. H2 minus H1 is the head drop across the well and the pump operating point shifts from the point with flow Q1 to the point with the flow Q2. The pump generates the power which is proportional to the area Q2 multiplied by H2. But the system needs power proportional to the area Q2 multiplied by H1. The area of the red square is the power which is lost on the valve. This is the difference between generated power and useful power. We dissipate the excess energy by the valve. That is why the throttle control is the most ineffective method of pump control. The power we lost can be calculated using this formula. How to estimate throttling loss? The simplest way is to use the pressure values before and after the well which is used for the throttling. This formula allows us to calculate the pressure losses if the pressure after and before well is known and flow which goes through the well is also known. I agree that it's difficult to get all these parameters at the pump station. But it is possible to get this information from the characteristic of weld or using pump characteristics. For example, if you have a pump discharge pressure, you can use the pump curve and define the value of a flow, which is the same as the flow which goes through the weld. Sometimes throttling can help pump users to avoid serious problems and save the pump. Let's consider the situation with oversized pump, when it was selected with bigger head than necessary. This is a common situation. As a result, the pump operates outside the allowable operating range, with vibration, cavitation, the motor is overloaded. Sometimes a control panel switches off the motor because of overload. And what we can do in this situation? We can apply throttling and begin close the valve. The operating point will move from position 1 to position 2 until it will get to a lowable operating range. On one hand, we will lose the energy, but on the other hand, pump will operate within operating range and we will avoid more serious 
mechanical problems. And sometimes the throttling can be the only solution of rescuing a pump and an electric motor. It is clear that throttle control of the pump means losses of energy. This is the same when a driver tries to control the speed of a car at full gas by brakes. But when the throttling can be applied and can help pump users to avoid more serious problems, there may be other situations where throttling can be applied. For example, for balancing the branch systems, when there are different branches in the system with different requirements, or when precise control is necessary. Make your pumping system efficient. If you need more information, please visit our website pumpsaudit.com. See you. Good luck.